Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is going to be a review on the Moth Kickstand. Um, so I did buy this product myself a couple months ago, and this would be my honest review on the stand. So let's get started. So I have made videos on Moft in the past before. The first one was this MagSafe wallet stand. Um, I personally liked it. However, I seem to not use it as much because I do carry my own wallet around, uh, but it's nice for its convenient factors. If you want to see my review on that, you can check it in the link in the description. Uh, the second one is this Moft iPad case. Uh, this one's also really nice. Uh, this one pops out like this and then it works like a little kickstand. Uh, I also have a video on this in the description. I'll put that um, down there as well. But this is about this MacBook or laptop kickstand. So personally, I like this the most out of all the Moth products I've reviewed so far, and I'm gonna explain why. But first, let's get to the features. So the stand actually allows you to have two different angles. Uh, one is a really steep one, and then if you fold this inside portion like that, uh, you get a lower angle, which I personally prefer, and I'll show you why. Um, but to see the angles yourself, here's the steep one. Uh, I think it's perfect for keeping it level with your head for video conferences. Um, but other than that, I don't really like the typing angle of this. I do prefer, however, the second angle. Um, a quick way of folding it in is you use your thumb, push it this way, and then it gives you a nice typing experience. Um, I like this one better. This one does have a decent camera angle and it does have a good um, ergonomic position for your hands rather than the flatness of it. Um, but that's basically all you have with this kickstand. And the cool thing is it's when it's folded up, it's essentially um, flat like this. So you usually don't notice it when you're putting it into your bag um, and it's not much thicker. Uh, so this is the view you get when it's like flat on the table. Uh, this is when it's like slightly propped up. And this is the angle you get uh, when it's fully propped up. So this is my favorite angle. It's pretty much like lower than eye level, but uh, the whole face shows up and the background looks pretty clear. Um, but it is kind of annoying to type on when you're in this angle. That's why I don't prefer it as much. It is really nice. Uh, I'd say this angle, like the middle position is the best for me. It's the best to type on. And when you're doing video calls, uh, your camera angle isn't terrible. It's way better than when it's uh, flat on the table and pretty much looking up at your nose. Uh, so that's why I like that better. But some of the problems I faced was mainly due to the 16 inch laptop. Uh, so if you quickly see right here, you can kind of see that there's a bit of a gap. Um, I pushed my alt to the edge. Uh, that's kind of because these rubber feet do work when you're in the lower position, this one. Uh, these rubber feet barely touch the ground and the metal won't scratch. I usually don't use the full um, height one because that kind of causes the metal to be touching the ground and I don't really want that. Um, so that's uh, kind of why I placed it in this direction. However, the thing that does annoy me was when I'm trying to use it flat, um, let's say I'm trying to use the keyboard right now. When I rest my palms on the palm rest, it does wobble. Uh, this is pretty specific to the bigger laptops, but if you are going to have something, if you're going to have this um, near the back, um, I tend to only use it in this position. And this is technically better since it does leave room for the airflow to come in through the side and then out through the back. Um, so it pretty much is like a pro to this situation, uh, but you can't use it flat um, pretty comfortably. You have to kind of lift up your hands and that does get pretty annoying pretty quickly. Um, but that's just one thing I noticed uh, while using this. For the build quality, I didn't seem to notice any problems. Um, I've been using this for a couple months now, I think around maybe five or six, um, but it doesn't seem to have any problems. The adhesive here hasn't fallen off yet. Uh, even if I try to like poke at it, like it's not gonna come off. 
unless I really want to pull that off. Um, and I actually thought these little things would snap eventually, but uh, even till this day, they're pretty, pretty reliable. Um, and I don't really get any wobble side to side when I'm typing on this. Uh, let me show you real quick. And like, I've been using it enough so that I can just like pull out the stand without even looking at it. Uh, that's the nice thing about this. Once you get used to it, you won't have any problems. Another thing that's kind of specific to the bigger laptops is if you do push here, it might wobble, uh, but most of the time your, your hands are right here. So um, the part that it's like fixed onto the ground, you won't like cause anything to wobble. Uh, so pretty much like the only problems I faced was due to me having a larger laptop, but this does fit on smaller laptops as well, which I think is really nice. Uh, so in the end, I do recommend this product to pretty much anyone who wants a better ergonomic typing experience and maybe like a virtual meeting um, like improvement. Uh, and it's pretty flat. You won't notice it when you throw it into your bag. Uh, it barely weighs anything. So I think it's pretty much like, why not get it? Anyways, thank you for watching. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe.